Hey everyone, Chicago Bears Daily here back with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Echomania St. Brown. Um, I feel like he has mainly gone under the radar in terms of who he can be, who he is, kind of his production, and kind of his potential. And it's kind of a good thing that he's going under the radar. I mean, he didn't he obviously didn't shine with Green Bay. Uh, he didn't really get the opportunity up there. Um, we, we caught a little bit of flack for signing him because a lot of teams, maybe Green Bay especially, they think that he can't be that guy. But for everything that I've been hearing about him and everything that I've been seeing about him, he is actually shining in our training camp. And a lot of people can say that's easy when our wide receiver core is so low class and we don't have like superstars at wide receiver, which is true. It's true that, but that's that's kind of what I like about Pohl's whole meth methodology here is sign these guys, these young guys that have potential and that have athleticism to kind of a one year prove it deal and that's go out there and literally just prove it and Sam Brown from literally what I've been seeing he's been playing great in the in the training camp and Justin Fields even has been saying that he is he's constantly been in the right place at the right time so that's something that you really like to hear from the quarterback as well another plus that I've been hearing about uh since since he played in Green Bay's kind of offense I guess I guess we're trying to somewhat implement what they do on offense a little bit um so it it, it makes sense um that he is going to be kind of like that top guy in the offense he kind of he had a full year at least with that offense and he knows the playbook he knows where to run as the receiver so to hear Justin Fields speak about him that highly it's it's kind of exciting um the door is still wide open for the wide receiver two position. Um, I've been rooting on Bayless Jones from the very start. I've been hoping for him. I mean, he's to me, he's he has the most potential to be the wide receiver two. But obviously, between him, Bayless Jones, uh, Byron Pringle, and uh, um, um, Equimania St. Brown, those guys, it, it, they all have the potential here to be in the number two. And so that's that's the exciting thing, you know. People say people look at our wide receiver core and say, "Oh, sh like, oh, we're, we have such a poor receiving core," you know. But it's 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 kind of exciting. It's kind of building like a storyline to see who's going to be the backup to Mooney. Will anybody take over Mooney? Will anybody be that big of a surprise? I don't think so uh, this year, at least. But it's kind of it's it's kind of that excitement and to see how this offense kind of shapes and molds. We have it from the ground floor this year, so we're building up, and everybody is kind of starting from the same spot. So everybody has that opportunity. All those one-year sign and prove-it deals, um, those are going to be awesome because when it comes time next year, we're not only going to have that huge cap, we're going to have all these guys who's going to be contracts expiring, and if we like them, we'll keep them. If we don't like them, you can easily just get rid of them. And that's kind of what we're looking forward to. Um, personally, I, from what I've been hearing, we'll have to see how he plays in the preseason and obviously how he's going to play during the season. But personally, I think St. Brown is going to be with us for a few years at least. Um, we're going to hope that this offense, we're st starting from the ground floor, we're going to hope that this offense kind of builds a in a positive direction. Uh, and similar to Matt Nagy, our offense in 2018 started 2017 I guess started in a good it start 2018 I think it started in a good year um it started very it started out very good but Nagy the big thing with Nagy was he was super gimmicky with those stupid fucking plays and once once the league figured him out they just uh, he, they just didn't work and he thought he was smarter than every other genius mind in the league and he clearly was not um, we're going to hope that Luke Getze comes in here and he's not building a great offense off gimmicks. Um, Valus Jones Jr. and Equimania St. Brown, Darnell Mooney, Byron Pringle, all those guys have the potential, they have the talent to go in there and run a competent offense. 
We're going to hope our offensive line here plays solid to give Fields times the ball, time to throw the ball toward them. And that's a Bears. I mean, what more could we ask for and coming into this first coach, first year of this coaching staff? What more can we really ask for than a little bit of time for Fields to throw, to hit a deep ball downfield to an open wide receiver, whether it be Mooney, Equiminius St. Brown, Valus Jones, Byron Pringle. All these guys are fast as hell. And and uh, Justin Fields has a cannon of an arm. So if these guys at the front, they play well, we're going to see some fireworks here in Chicago. And I don't want to get too ahead of myself because we haven't even played a preseason game yet. And I know the offense has been struggling a little bit with pads on, um, especially in the two-minute drill. But all these things, they need to get worked out. They will get worked out. And I'm excited to see – I'm excited to see – not only Equimania St. Brown break out, but I'm excited to see our whole offense break out. Um, I think we're severely being slept on. And hey, I'm filming this while the Hall of Fame game is going on. So football is fucking back. Let's go. I am excited. It's it's that time of year. I heard that so I heard that Thursday night football theme. And you know, da, 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 and I was like, let's fucking go. You know what I'm saying? So Football's back. Bears football will be back very soon. I, I, we did the final countdown. I think there's like 35 days until the season starts, until the first Sunday, I mean. Um, 38 days till that first Thursday night game. So let's fucking go. Let's go out there and let's go prove these haters wrong. Um, the Bears have the potential to do it. It's will they capitalize? We will see. Um, so if you like this video, feel free to leave a like, drop a comment if you have any thoughts. Um, and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're only ramping up the Bears production from here. So uh, hit all that stuff that I just mentioned, and I will see you in the next video. Go Bears!